Aquarius, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is reading for February 11th to February the 17th. And as I always ask you, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you would like to. You don't have to. If you don't want to, I don't mind. Um, <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really silly. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to start your reading right now for Aquarius. Um, the first card you have your past is the Two of Wands. So, yeah, I I think you might have been trying to move forward. Uh, you might have been trying to move away from someone's influence, trying to uh, move away in your head. Um, it's like um, you had this shadow behind you, sort of following you around. Um, there wasn't anyone literally following you around. This was happening in your head. I think you were tired of having this person on your mind, but they were just on your mind. Um, it was almost as if you were being... Um, not controlled, but influenced from a dif dis distance. I'm trying to say the word distance. I don't know why I can't say distance. Um, but yeah, you're being influenced um, from a distance for some reason. Um, I'm just getting this feeling that someone might have tried to get you to feel responsible for how they were feeling or something like that. Um, I'm seeing a lot of things like, you know, maybe someone was saying, um, oh, you made me feel like this. You made me act like this. And yes, of course, people can make other people feel certain ways, but um, I'm just, I'm just getting this feeling that they put a lot of responsibility on you, a lot. Um, and whatever happened between you, um, you know, they were responsible for their own part in this as well. It wasn't just you. Um, there were things that were said and done on both sides, and I just feel that um, they were trying to make you totally responsible for everything. Um, and I think you've probably uh, physically moved on from this person, I think, and uh, you you will totally move on emotionally from this um, person as well, eventually. But I think, um, I just think you are carrying around too much guilt with you, really. Um, look at the man on this card. He wants to move forward. He has the whole world in front of him. But one of these ones is behind him. It's a bit like a shadow and it's bolted onto this fence or this wall. So it's kind of hanging around. It's not going anywhere. And um, you probably felt as if you were kind of almost carrying them around with you. Um, you were definitely carrying around a lot of guilt. So, you know, if this is resonating with you and you're still going through all of this, um, try to take some time away, maybe meditate if this is something that you do, and maybe think about, you know, think about everything that's happened. Look at everything objectively. Own the parts that are yours, own the parts that you know that you've done, but reject anything that you haven't done. Reject anything that you that aren't yours, because um, a lot of this guilt isn't yours to carry around. That's what I'm seeing. You need to let go of some of this misplaced guilt, and I think when you've been able to do that, uh, then you'll be able to move forward 100%. That's what I'm seeing. It's just this guilt that you're carrying around that's kind of stopping you, or it was at this time. So the next card you have you passed is the seven. Why am I saying seven? I know, because I'm looking at the seven of cups. Sorry, I, I shouldn't be looking at it. It's really catching my eye. Page of pentacles. So, um, yeah, I'm, I, this is something that you've been wanting to start for a long, long time. I don't know whether this was a personal project or a business or some kind of project. I think you really wanted to do this. You've been wanting to do this for a long, long time and uh, you tried to start this a few times but it's gotten away from you um, you've never quite been able to grasp this thing um, this might be about studying as well studying something um, it's like this thing's been right in front of you a few times but then you know when you've tried to grab onto it it's kind of drifted away from you or it's floated away from you um, I'm just saying that because this coin looks a little bit like a balloon to me at the moment when I'm looking at this and it's on the tips of this um, page's fingers he's looking up to it he wants it but it looks as if it's about to float away it's kind of right on the tips and it's kind of about to fly away and he's going to try and grab onto it as it flies off so I don't know where the people have um, have gotten in the way of you doing this um, or whether maybe it's this guilt that you've been carrying around that's been stopping you I don't know but there has been some block between you and you uh, doing this thing uh, and I think this is an internal block so this might be something that uh, you think people might judge you on or look at you as if you're a bit strange if you do this it might be something very different uh, but don't don't never let that stop you I mean uh, 
the strange people are the best people. Uh, if this is something that seems to be totally out of character for you, you know, it might be something that's so different that people might say, oh, I didn't think you'd do that. Why are you doing that? Oh, well, you know, too bad for them, too bad for them. If this is out of character for you, uh, then it is. It just is, whatever. Don't let any of this kind of thing stop you. You know, we're all made out of so many different facets and characters and society likes to divide us into categories. Uh, people, you know, society likes to say, you know, you're this age, you're this race, you're this, you're from this background, you're this, you look like this, you're, you, you're, um, you're uh, this um, occupation or you're that one, or, or you must be like this, or, you know, you're, you're in this social class or you've got this much money. People like to categorize you. Now you can be in tw 10 categories, you can be in 10, 20 categories, you can be in 500 categories, you can be in no categories, you can be in your own category. Um, because, you know, we're in our own categories, we're ourselves, so be yourself. If you want to do something that people think is out of character, that's just too bad. There's no out of character, we're all lots of different characters made into one. So yeah, if this is resonating with you uh, and you're still in this, I know this is in the past, and if you haven't caught this balloon yet, catch the balloon, catch the balloon. I don't know if this will help you, but um, if you don't, you know, if this is something that you really want to do and you're really concerned about people judging you or saying things to you, don't tell them. Don't tell them what you're doing, especially at the start. I know I always say this, I know I always say, don't tell people, don't tell people. But um, you need to protect whatever this is. This is something that you're thinking about. It's very precious to you, but you haven't actually got you haven't actually gotten this off the ground yet. So it's almost like if you think of this as a pregnancy and you have a baby uh, inside a mother, and you know she loves it, she looks after it, she protects it, she you know eats proper food hopefully, and and takes care of her health, and she rests, and she does all these things, and she doesn't the baby doesn't go out into the world until it's ready to and then everyone sees it and so this project is a bit like that it's like nurture it take care of it think about it plan for it do all the things that you want to do let it grow um, inside your mind let it grow without people seeing it and then let it out when it's the right time for you to let it out not before because I think if you let this out before you're ready um, uh, it's it, a lot of people are going to either say things or say oh you shouldn't be doing that all these kind of comments are going to start to kind of uh, push you backwards um, so don't tell people um, you can tell people if you want to but that's what I'm seeing there that's what I'm seeing with this the last card you have your past is the eight of swords so yes again you might have to either keep this from people which is what I'm seeing or even turn away from certain people to enable you to do this thing because I think again if you tell people what you want to do especially people in your family I'm I'm seeing family here uh, they might use their words to try to stop you or talk you out of this um, I always see um, swords as words you know if you take the s off swords you you have um, words and you know I see that a lot of the time and this poor woman's obviously surrounded by these swords they're stopping her from moving forwards if you talk to these people about what you're going to do, they're going to give you a lot of swords, a lot of words, and that's going to stop you from moving forward. Um, I'm seeing one specific person who might see danger in everything and they're just really cautious. Uh, they do care about you, but um, they just don't understand that sometimes people need to take risks to be able to do things. And um, I don't even think that what you want to do is risky but this is how they would probably perceive it. So you probably get a lot from them as well, going, oh, don't do that. Do you know the, what the risks are? You might lose your job, you might be poor, you might be homeless. Oh, don't do this, don't do that. Oh, you know, my friend down the road did that and they were in a lot of trouble. You know, just try to keep it from anyone until you are ready. That's what I'm seeing. The first card you have for your present is the Seven of Wands. So, yeah, another reason why you haven't started this yet might be because uh, you're just really, really busy generally, especially at work. I'm seeing a lot going on in your workplace and I'm seeing that uh, things might not be that fantastic in your workplace either. Uh, there is tension around your workplace, I'm seeing. Um, 
But I think the main problem that for you right now in your workplace is that you just have so much work to do. Um, if you look at the man on this card, he looks as if he's wearing one boot and one shoe. There's one long boot and there's one little shoe with laces on it. So um, yeah, maybe he was in a hurry to fight this battle and he just pulled on two different shoes. I don't know, whatever clothes he had. And um, this might be a bit like you. You might be rushing out the door to get to work in a hurry, forgetting things maybe, uh, just because you were just so tired. You might have forgotten your keys or your wallet, something important just because you're so, so busy and so, so stressed. So if this is all resonating with you, um, this is another reason why you should start this other thing that I was seeing in the Page of Pentacles. Maybe you can use this stress and this frustration to motivate yourself to start this other thing. And you don't need to start it. You don't need to finish one thing and start another thing. You can start doing this a little bit on the side. Now I know it's going to be a bit more difficult for you at this time because I am seeing how busy you are. But this is going to die down and once this starts to die down, then you're going to be able to open up this new thing. That's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have for your present is the Seven of Cups. So, yes. Um, yes, this always looks very, very confusing to me. It looks like, it looks a bit like a shelf in a shop, like a number of shelves. There are like two shelves and um, it's like a shop up in the clouds, a kind of a confusing shop to me. I always see that and this man's in the shop and he's thinking, hmm, will I have the, uh, the lady's head or will I have the snake? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's all up in the clouds, it's all confusing, he doesn't know what to do. Um, it can be about other things as well, this card. I, I should be a bit more serious because I'm seeing some quite serious things in this card now that I'm looking at it properly. Um, I think someone who you care about might have gone a little bit off track um, or they might have gotten into something that's not good for them, maybe. Um, I think this is someone who... I'm just getting this feeling of them uh, maybe slipping away from you. I don't know whether this person was an addict they might have been, they might still be, uh, maybe or maybe not. Um, it is something like that though. Um, a lot of people around them, including yourself, probably tried to talk to them and I think people tried to bring them back in a way, stop them from, tried to stop them from kind of slipping away into this bad, onto this bad road or whatever this was. Um, if, um, yeah, okay, I'll just tell you what I'm seeing in this. Um, if you're worried about this person or, you, um, or you're worried about where they are or what's happening to them, if they're not around you and you're a bit worried, I think they're safe. I think they're going to either contact you or they're going to contact someone around you. I'm seeing someone who's a bit scared, a bit scared to get back into contact with any people at all, but they will do this. They will do this soon. That's what I'm seeing. Um, there's a lot of stress around this, a lot of energy around this. Um, and there's a lot of stress around all of these people who are thinking about them. But that's what I'm seeing in that card, if that you know resonates with you. I hope, um, I hope that's reached the right person. So the last card you have for your present is the Four of Wands. Um, so yes, this card can be about marriage, can be about celebrations. It can also be about welcoming, I think. And, and this is showing me that this person in the Seven of Cups will make contact again and they will come back again. I'm seeing that again. They're going to be welcomed back. I'm seeing a family um, and I'm seeing a family. Um, I'm seeing someone being welcomed back into this family. Um, I'll just, yeah, you can't see everything on camera, so I'll just move it up. So yeah, there are these two women in this card and they're kind of waving their bouquets. They're welcoming someone back. They're kind of saying, welcome, welcome. And you know, even though there are going to be a lot of things that I think when this person comes back, uh, they're going to have to talk about all these things, they're going to have to work through all these things, uh, they're going to be welcomed. And the big thing is they're going to be sheltered. There's an archway on the right hand side of this card um, and that is uh, representing shelter obviously. So this person needs this shelter, so they're going to be sheltered, they're going to be in this kind of little sheltered cocoon for a while, they're going to be protected, looked after, and then after they've kind of uh, improved things for themselves and people have helped them and all of that kind of thing, then they're going to start to ascend. I'm seeing things really, really, really improving for them because I'm looking at this red arrow pointing upwards and things are going to improve them. So they're going to have this time of shelter and then they're going to have this time of improvement when things are going to get a lot better for them. 
Um, I hope that doesn't sound too confusing. Um, and again, I hope it reached the right person because I want whoever this is who's thinking about this person to stop worrying. Um, so if this is resonating with you, um, I can see you care about this person. They will come back and there is going to be a positive future for that person. That's what I'm seeing in this card. Um, the first card you have for your future is the Knight of Wands. So, yes, I wish I could tell you that everything was settling down in your workplace. Um, uh, I know there's a lot of stress in this reading. I don't mean this to be so stressful, uh, but this is, you know, this is all what I'm seeing, so I have to tell you. Um, you're going to be really stressed at work still, um, and uh, yeah, just be careful that you don't lose your temper with someone at work. That's what I'm seeing. Um, you're not usually like this. You're not usually a bad tempered person, but I think with all this stress you're under, you might end up losing it with someone actually. Um, just be careful if you, you know, if you feel yourself getting angry with someone, count to 10, go get a cup of coffee, do something because you might end up saying something that you regret um, and you can't bring it back. This is something that you're going to say, or not that you're going to, this I'm trying to tell you not to, but um, if you're tempted to say something and you're really angry, something might come out of your mouth that you're not going to be able to take back. That's what I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing a really demanding person around you and I think you can usually cope with this person. You probably shouldn't have to cope with this person. They're a horrible person, but you do cope with them. Um, but at this time, you know, your stress levels are going to be so high, um, it won't be easy for you to contain yourself. Um, I, I think I've seen this in your readings before. I've seen a lot of problems in your workplace before. Um, so if this is really getting to you, I hope you're looking at other options because what I'm seeing is quite serious actually. There's stress coming at you from all levels at work, everywhere. So please, please look at other options um, if this is all resonating with you. Uh, the next card you have for your future is the Three of Cups. So yeah, okay, so this is kind of following on from the Knight of Wands for me. This is what I'm seeing. Um, Money is going to good, be good for you. Money is good for you around this work. So that's the probably, I don't know, it, it's probably the only positive thing around this for you at this time. Um, because this card can be about celebrating a harvest. Now, obviously, a successful harvest means money for whoever's produced this harvest. And maybe this is what's keeping you there in this job. Maybe it's the money. Now, if that's the case, um, I know everyone needs money, but don't let this be everything that's keeping you in a job. It's Money is fantastic, it's great to earn a lot of money, but it can't be the only thing. You spend a lot of hours in a job. It, money cannot be the only thing that keeps you there. Um, and also I can see that you're dreaming about other things in this reading with this page of pentacles. You've been dreaming about doing this thing for a long, long, long time. So your heart's probably not in this anyway. Um, I know you're probably thinking, well, it's easy for you to say I have this bill to pay and that bill to pay. I'm not saying that you should just walk away. Again, this is what I was seeing before in the Seven of Wands. Don't just walk away. Wait until all this dies down, this great, big, huge lot of work you have, and it will die down wait for all to die down and then have a look at what else you can do. You can keep your job and you can do something on the side. You can save money if this is telling me that you are earning money um, or earning quite a bit of money. If you're earning extra, if you're kind of have more money coming, save that extra for a time that you might need it in the future. You might want to get out of this and go somewhere else. Make sure you have some money behind you. Make sure you have skills behind you. Update your resume. Do all things like that. Do whatever you can to prepare. Also look into this new thing in the Page of Pentacles because I can see that that's something that you really truly would love to do. Um, even if it's going to me mean that you're going to be earning less, um, follow that, follow that. It is not worth putting up with this horrible stress just because you have more money. Um, and again, put that money aside, put that money aside. Um, if this is resonating with you, you're not stuck, you're not stuck. There are things that you can do. The last card you have for your future is the Page of Swords. So yeah, again, there's still going to be a lot of stress. Um, I'm seeing distress, I'm seeing defense uh, in, in your future, especially around the workplace, uh, a lot of busyness, 
as well um, and it is going to die out after a while you won't be super super stressed forever and ever I know it probably feels like that when you're in this but um, it won't be forever um, and I wish I could tell you that you'll be sitting under a palm tree by a beach sleeping in your future but that's not what I'm seeing I'm still seeing all this stress but it is manageable it is going to go away and when this go or it is going to lessen at least when all of this big vol great big volumes of work are going to lessen that's when you're going to have the time in your head to start planning all this new stuff so please do that again also put some money aside for yourself now um yeah yeah i mean yeah i'm just i'm really i won't repeat myself i'm just seeing the same things is that you know this is this isn't going to go on forever you're going to get your freedom with these birds that are over this page's head um, and that's what you're thinking about that's what's on your head you're thinking about this freedom and you're going to get this freedom through this um, studying or this thing you want to do in the page of Pentacles so keep that on your head never lose this never get that off your head get through this difficult time again I know I'm repeating myself you're going to go through an easier time where there are less volumes of work then you're going to be able to plan your future and then you're going to be able to plan this um, this freedom so I'm sorry I repeated myself Aquarius I hope this resonated <coughs> oh I'm sorry um, but as you know <coughs> oh gosh I'm so sorry I won't say anymore I'm just having a coughing fit thank you so much for listening and watching <laughs>